What up, nerds? Welcome to AI News, where we put the artificially intelligent in AI. Because let's face it, human intelligence is so last century. I didn't write that joke. ChatGPT did. So moving on to human jokes. Okay, the godfather of artificial intelligence, Jeffrey Hinton, has resigned from Google, expressing regret over his role in developing AI. Or in layman's terms, oops, my bad. He's even likened himself to Oppenheimer. You know, the guy who developed the atomic bomb? I guess you could say he's having an AI told you so moment. But on a serious note, Hinton's concern that AI could lead to the proliferation of misinformation and the replacement of humans in the labor force. Look, I get it, right? But Fox News and CNN have already been doing that for some time. You are fake news. <laughs> Speaking on misinformation, he warned that AI-generated content might be so convincing that people won't be able to tell whether it's true anymore. But let's be honest, we're already pretty terrible at that. I mean, I still have a buddy who thinks that the earth is flat, and he's not even AI. And as for replacing people in the workforce, I'd like to remind everybody that AI still can't spend the first 30 minutes of the office day in the break area fiddling with the coffee machine and talking to Sally. So not to worry, boys and girls. I'm safe for now. Hinton went on to say that he consoled himself with the thought that if he didn't create AI, someone else would have. But my man, that's like saying that if I didn't invent the selfie stick, someone else would have invented it. Sure, it's true, but you still have to live with the fact that uh, you unleashed that horror upon the world. All right, moving on. We're going to talk about policing. So it looks like the UK has introduced artificial intelligence to their police force. And it's not what you think. They essentially pulled over a ton of people for traffic infractions in a couple of different districts. Every shire there is, Lincolnshire, something shire. We don't have those words in America, but all the shires, all the shires are getting pulled over. So what do I think about this? Look, here's the deal. Real talk. We've been doing this with large data already for some time. It's actually quite the mess. Uh, there was a police officer or some police station in the uh, South Middle America. I don't know, maybe Texas, maybe Arizona, one of those states where the uh, sheriff uh, was sold a serious amount of hype when it came to predictive analysis. It was so good in his mind that he's just started arresting people left and right. A lot of folks that were innocent got rolled up. And so what is my point? My point is, I don't like it, boys and girls. I don't like it. This gives me minority report vibes, minority report vibes. I know you're thinking it too. I'm thinking it. It ain't where I want to be. Policing is kind of like my last stand. Military. All right. All right. We got to protect the sovereignty against other people. Like we're fighting other people like tribalism. Right. But when it comes to like internal tribalism and then like cutting your own throats inside your own Republic, not about that, boys and girls, not about that. We, we got to take a stand. We got to take a stand, boys and girls. There has to be a line. We need a line. Boys and girls, we need a petition. The line is for policing. Policing's already bad. The thin blue line even. On the other hand, maybe it makes policing better. I don't know. I mean, RoboCop, look at Ed 209 or whatever, right? Ed two, Is it Ed 209? You know the robot against like RoboCop? He's a son of a bitch. I mean, do you want him running around? I mean, do you want... Even Robocop's scary, son of a bitch, too. I mean, think about it, right? Like, it's pretty scary. Dead or alive, you are coming with me. I wouldn't want that either. Look, boys and girls, just go through all the movies. Minority Report, Robocop, none of them are good. None of them are good for policing. So why are we doing this to ourselves? Terminator, but that's a defense thing, right? Terminator's a defense thing. You get my point, boys and girls. That is the line. All right, moving on. It looks like Levi's is experimenting with AI models. So the way I understand this is what they're trying to do is when you go to their website or some online presence for Levi's, most of the time there's only one model modeling that exact outfit, right? But what if you could put, hey, like for me, uh, Asian American receding hairline in that Levi's jeans. You know what I mean? I might be like, hey, look, it looks like me. That's what I would look like in it. See, that's the problem. If you're going to do that, you might as well let me put me in there. AI could probably put me in there pretty quickly. So, I mean, where are we at here? You still want to see, that's the problem. And if I put myself in it and I don't look good and I don't look good in anything, then I'm not going to buy it anyway. So you still need a model. So don't be careful, Levi's. You're about to cross that line. If, because if you could put me in there, gosh, I'm never buying anything. 
All right, moving on. So I want to talk about rate of change. So one of the things that people don't understand, people who don't think about exponential growth, is the fact that how fast these things are happening. These are pictures from April 2022 and then April 2023 using the exact same prompts. Now look, in 2022, nobody was scared of AI. I'm talking about artists here. As you can see, concept art-wise, I used to partake. In fact, in fact, my whole thing was, look, when I was young, I said, I made a deliberate decision. I'm going to go be uh, running and gunning. You know, I went uh, and did the whole special operations things, 20 years of service, America, mandatory eagle salute coming right at you. Point is, I did all that when I was young because I said, when I get older, when I retire earlier this year, I thought that I was going to go ahead and transition to being an artist. But guess what? But I looked at all that art and I said, oh, hell no. Hell, I can't do that. There's there's no damn way. But look at this, April 22 and April 23. Again, same prompt, same exact prompt. Look at the iterative difference. Boys and girls, if you don't understand what exponential growth looks like on a chart, this is what it looks like in reality. This is super visceral. And here's another example. And if this doesn't make you feel nervous, then here is the next example, side by side, side by side. All right. And finally, let's go over text to video. You know, I really think in a couple of years, you know, let's go ahead and throw 10 years, 20 years. I'll still be alive. You're going to be able to say, computer, give me this movie. I want an adventure movie filled with dwarves and elves with rings, uh, powerful rings, in fact. And I want lava in it. I also want lava and I want two little little characters that are uh, tough, but not really tough. Uh, and one of the guys is like fat and he likes to eat all the bread. And the other guy is always just like, I don't know, just the kind of weak, doesn't really have a character arc, but then they get to the lava anyways. And like, make me that movie. I, I promise you, they'll make you that movie. So I think that, you know, this is early days. I can't imagine that not happening at this point, which gosh, I don't even know what I want for breakfast sometimes. So I'm kind of scared about that. I don't know that good movies are going to come out from me for damn sure. So I probably still watch movies, but good luck actors and actresses. I don't know. What are you going to do? Do we need actors? We don't. We won't. We won't. We could do it. But that's the thing. See, everything's going to be staged human, like human inter interface, right? Like gladiatorial arenas, opera. I think all that stuff still stands. I think like if you're a backup dancer, good job. You're actually going to be a premium now. Uh, gymnast. Anything like that. Sports? Sports is probably going to be big. Boys and girls, sports is going to be big. You can't fake that. I don't know. Hold on, though. Singularity happens. And then we don't even know who's human. That's going to be a tough one. I don't know, man. This is all really coming too fast. But that's why you're watching this channel. Because for some reason, you are intrigued as well as I am. All right, boys and girls. What did we learn today? We learned that policing and Minority Report is inevitable. And if we continue down this road, it's not gonna be a good road. We also learned that if Levi's decides that AI is gonna generate a picture of me in Levi's jeans, I'm probably not gonna buy them. And also, I will sign a petition for no policing with robots if somebody makes one. That was funny, ha 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 ha. Additionally, we figured out that a lady from 2022, whose nose was not quite a nose, had a nose in 2023. And finally, for all you creatives, you're going to be able to make your own movie. If you didn't quite like Lord of the Rings and you wanted the Griffins to drop the ring of power into the lava, you'll have it. So for what it's worth, we're doomed. This is Kenny. Thank you for spending time with us. This is actually a lease agreement. It's not really news. See you later.